Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another best episode uh, where we talk about uh, running Keras in R and R Studio. So this episode is going to mostly about how to prepare your R Studio environment for running Keras and TensorFlow. So the, there are several ways, and I'm running on TensorFlow 2.00 and R3.6.2 and R Studio 1.01. If I'm not wrong, I'm not too sure about R Studio. Let me check. R Studio 1.2.1335. Okay, so if you're running anything new or any newer, uh, anything older, I'm not too sure it will work or it will not. But so it depends on the situation they're in, and there's a lot of other things that will affect this. But this is how I make it run. So of course, first of all, I'm running on a Windows 10 machine, and things will be different from different platforms such as Mac and Linux. So the first thing you need to install, of course, is R and R Studio. If you have not that already do have those installed i have another video where i'll link in the description below about how to install r, &R studio and how to install packages and all that so the next thing you will need in this case is actually something called the r tools so r2 is a compiler is something that would able to compile the package that you download because certain things in cross and tensorflow it, it needs the compiling for it to work so we just download the newest one for r 3.3 and onwards and just install it for Windows. Uh, you don't have you have to download a different thing in Linux as well as Mac where there's a compile that's slightly different. So that one, if you're interested, just leave a comment down below and or email me. I'll make another video to to demonstrate that. So the second one is actually Anaconda. So you don't actually have to install the full Anaconda as itself where you can actually just install a mini conda where it will ask you later uh, when you're installing the tensorflow and Keras and so on but having a full conda is a lot easier because it will have a lot of things available for you and you'll be able to download things further on where whereby if you only use mini conda you will lose a lot of access for the conda environment that you have so it's kind of like another rep repository for law library and packages and so on. So they also have something like a Jupyter, no Jupyter Notebook, which is very, very useful in IDE for, let's say, Keras um, programming and so on. So the next one, the next thing you have to do is install Keras packages and Tensorflow packages within the R Studio environment. So this can be done by just clicking in package install and type Keras and TensorFlow, or you can actually just use the code directly um, is included in the script. So I'll put a, a link to the script down below. So of course you can just do this and tensor flow and you can just install from here directly. Okay, so the next one also you before you actually go into install R Studio uh, Keras and GitHub, you have to install something called Development 2, which is the package called DEV Tools. So that will also allow a little bit more of a compiler or ways of you to have access towards the tools needed for um, developer. In this case, is actually the Keras and TensorFlow from GitHub. So after you have installed the dev tool, you just include the library in your working environment and use these two commands where dev2 install github r the keras and r the tensorflow remember that dependency put it to be true just in case you made out certain thing the default um, of, of the command is actually to include all the dependency when you include the packages but sometimes you know it doesn't work so force it is usually easier to make it work so once you're done all that you just run uh, install Keras and install TensorFlow. So if you do have uh, GPUs for acceleration, you first of all it has to be CUDA. I'm not too sure about how to run it on OpenCL because I don't have an AMD uh, graphic card, so I don't need to do that. So I'm running CUDA. Uh, so the problem is that if you want to have CUDA to run, you have to make sure that your CUDA version is 10. Point zero. If anything newer than that, it will not work. Anything older than that, it will not work. It has to be 10.0. You can search for an um, NVIDIA CUDA um, 10.0 download. It will bring you to archive page and you can download that. However, if you have something like uh, two, uh, 1050 like me, where you already have two gigabyte of VRAM, uh, don't bother. The, the speed is not going to be that different really with many of the, the script that I've run over here on my computer. If you have a 1070, this is going to be very different, obviously, if you also have, like, say, a 1080 Ti or, or a Tesla or, or whatever. So for me, I'm just 
installing the CPU version over here. So if you need to install GPU version, you just include some command in the install Keras. But for newcomers, if you're watching this, most likely it's the first time running this, just run it on CPU first, make sure it's stable, make sure everything works, then you go to the CUDA versions. Okay, so that's basically how you prepare for the environment needed to run Keras and TensorFlow in our studio. And you can go ahead to the next video to watch uh, the tutorial on how you do word and beating on uh, our studio environment using Keras and a deep learning network. Well, it's not that deep, but you know, it's a neural network learning network. Okay, see ya, bye.